Um, I started working on bees, I was looking around for a master's topic actually, and um, back then the jobs were for entomologists, people who wanted to kill, kill insects or pin them out or something. But after that I fell in love with them actually. It's, uh, <laughs> and since then I've been work, working on them. I, I think one of the big impacts early on from New Ze both New Zealand and overseas was the work to try and increase the efficiency of bees when they're actually doing pollination. And one of the projects we worked on was feeding sugar syrup to colonies. And what we can do is we can change the behaviour of a whole colony to get them to collect pollen instead of collecting nectar. And a bee that collects pollen is a much better pollinator than one that collects nectar. And the way that it works is that normally a nectar forager from a beehive goes and visits a flower to collect nectar, comes back and passes it on to a house bee just, just inside the entrance. This house bee then goes up and makes honey that we all know and eat. But if you feed sugar syrup to a colony, the house bees go and consume the sugar syrup and they're no longer waiting at the entrance. So the nectar forager can no longer forage, um, can no longer get rid of its load when it brings it back. So it thinks the colony doesn't want nectar and goes and collects pollen. And when we, when we did this originally and came up with the results, the uptake was huge. It was for one year um, after we just presented our results, before that nobody did it. After that, all 80,000 colonies used for key fruit pollination. That very next season, everybody did it. There was even a bottling plant, instead of bottled milk, bottled sugar syrup so that it could be fed to beehives. Real scary at that point because we hadn't had a chance to repeat the results. It was going to be very embarrassing if we did the second time and found out it didn't work. But luckily it has and we've done a lot of work on development of the method now to get the best system. So key fruit growers in New Zealand and other fruit growers in New Zealand and overseas now have taken it up and they wouldn't use hives now without feeding sugar syrup. The performance of colonies is so good when you do it, nobody would think of not using it in the future. The, the risk originally was that the uptake was too good, that the idea was too good and people wanted to be way too fast in doing it. I would have liked to have got three or four years results for us to really, to really drive it home before we got people doing it, but the you, end user at this time gets to decide how quickly things happen. And this one here, it just took off. I guess the big effect is it's improved pollination. So people producing fruit can get a much better pollination, get better production now that from the hives that they would have had, um, than they would have done normally without sugar syrup feeding. The other advantage in here is that, especially now when it's becoming difficult in some cor corners, to get hives or get hives strong enough because of rot, then anything you can do to prove the efficacy there, of course, improves production in total. We've got 100% uptake, which for a project normally is, is you just don't dream of things like that. 